Hey, hello there. This is Stellan Oberemi Samuel, and I'm happy again to be here to speak to you. And let's have some conversation today. In this 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 video, I want to talk about leadership in humility. You see, everyone loves humble people, and only those who are truly humble can have a warm personal relationship with people on the other hand well very few persons prefer to deal with a hearty person and even when you are hearty and people kind of deal with you they deal with you from a distance right so this means that for us to be able to build strong relationships with people we all need to cultivate a measure of humility but what is humility there are quite a lot of definitions as to what humility is but let's take a few of them a humble person or when we talk about humility a humble person is someone who has lowliness of mind and he is kind of free from pride negative pride or arrogance a humble person acknowledges that everyone is superior to him in some way what this means is that a humble person understands that everyone knows something no matter how little that he doesn't know so when a humble person goes into a conversation he goes into the conversation with an open mind to learn something but a haughty person goes into the conversation with a mindset of I know everything a humble person really does not necessarily think less of himself you know but he thinks of himself less get that he doesn't think less of himself but that, that if you measure the time period within which he thinks about himself compared to the time that he thinks about others he thinks about others more quite frankly humility is the quality of being humble and it means putting the needs of the other person ahead of your own need and it means thinking about others before yourself it means thinking about others putting others first it also means not drawing on due attention to yourself so if you possess these if, if you act in these ways that I have described you can be said to be humble uh, let me also point out that a humble person acknowledges that he's not always right so if you're that person that you must win the argument you're always right everything about you is right and someone else can't be right you need to again question your attitude some people might really appear humble yes some people might appear humble maybe because of some cultural background especially for those of us that are in the western part in the southwestern part of nigeria but the fact that culturally they display a level of humbleness or humility so to speak humility actually in public does not necessarily mean that they are humble people conversely there are some people that when you see them they are extroverted they are always out there they're outgoing they are outspoken and you will naturally if you're not careful think that they are not humble people that they are proud people but it might just be the reverse so humility wells from inside it wells from inside comes from inside it's not just a showy display of some sort so whether you are extroverted or not all of us must work it is important that we all work to develop a humble heart especially if you're in a position of leadership but now when i talk about a position of leadership I'm not just talking if you are in leadership I'm not talking about just positional leadership you can actually lead from anywhere so it means that humility is a vital quality for all of us but why is that it is because haughtiness is like poison and the effect of a negatively proud person a haughty person can be devastating it is the quality that can render the most gifted person useless to others and people just are meant to i mean i don't care what you can do i don't care what your abilities are i don't care what your capabilities your capacity whatever it is 
but you know just just get off my lane so humility on the other hand endears us to others to other people most people research has shown that most people hate to work with hearty people very few persons enjoy dealing with people who always insist that it has to be their own way and they refuse to accept suggestions from other people whenever I, just picture a case where you find yourself in a team where the leader of the team or the point person of the team always thinks he knows it all and does not want to open up for other people to suggest and for him to maybe consider what other people have said. How do you feel? Somehow you feel stifled being in such a team. You see, by contrast, we find it truly refreshing, right? We find it truly refreshing when we deal with our friends. When these friends of ours show fellow feeling, genuine affection, tender compassion, and when they themselves are humble, we feel refreshed. We always want to be there. Whenever we feel stifled and we feel like we want to talk to somebody, always that friend of yours that is humble and willing to listen to you is that person that comes to your mind. Humility, so there, there, there are quite a number of positive sides, advantages of being humble. One of them is that humility makes life easier. Truly, I tell you sincerely, it makes life easier. Realistically, when you are humble, you tend to observe things in life from the way they are, not the way you want them to be. Humility also helps you to adjust to circumstances in life and not thinking that life is unfair and you keep complaining about everything but your attitude which is stifling you. Humility helps you to see that there's, there's, you, know, you were living in this beautiful house, you're running this amazing business and for some reason life happens. Humility helps you to accept things the way they are and work with them to begin to grow again. You don't tend to, humility helps you to see the reality, so you don't tend to still leave that spend the way you used to spend when things were flowing financially and otherwise but you have to cut down and begin to understand that there are a few things i need to let go for now humble myself and begin to climb back humility helps you to accept feedback it's a feedback is the food of champions i remember um uh, some time ago when i joined toastmasters some people felt stallone you're already a public speaker why are you joining toastmasters and I said because I wanted to learn some more. I remember the first time I did my icebreakers. I, I did my icebreakers speech. And the person who evaluated my speech told me something about the use of stage, about pacing as against intentional movement on stage. That was wow, that was deep. And from that day onwards, my use of stage, I became more conscious of my use of the stage. You see, another thing humility helps us to do is that it actually, you know, it's a blessing to be humble. It's a blessing to be humble. And when other people are blessed, when they gain some material advantage, some positional advantage, humility helps us to rejoice with them instead of being overly jealous, instead of hating them, instead of backbiting them. Humility helps us to be happy for them, happy with them, and rejoice with them all right so I can go on and on and on but I'm just sharing this at this moment so that we can reevaluate ourselves and find out that there are areas that we need to work on we all need to continuously you know develop a humble spirit and keep building upon it I hope you gain value from this video and um, I hope that you will be willing to share it with others who might also benefit from this. Once more, my name is Talon Obremi Samuel. I'm your success partner. And my humble wish for you is to go and succeed. Bye for now.